Hi, this is Brad Linder with Mobile Computing, and I just wanted to take a quick look at the latest build of uh, Fennec, or Firefox Mobile. Um, it doesn't really look very different from previous builds. This is still an alpha version for Google Android, but um, the uh, one of the people working on it sent out a uh, Twitter message recently saying that it got a lot faster recently, so I figured it was worth taking another look. And one of the first things that I noticed here was when you're doing something like uh, opening a website, it's actually not that much faster than it used to be. Still takes a little while to render a page. It's using the same rendering page, uh, rendering engine as the desktop version of Firefox. But what you do get is once a page is open, um, navigation is just incredibly fast and easy. Um, it could be smoother scrolling, and actually now that I look, it looks like this page is still loading, so we can actually interact with the page even though not all of the elements are loaded just yet. There we go. So now it's loaded. Scrolling actually is pretty smooth. We've got multi-touch. Now an interesting effect here, and I don't know how well it comes across in the video, is um, the fonts actually sort of resolve after you're done zooming. And then we can go over here, see a list of windows. Let's close that one. Uh, leave that one open. And something else I wanted to take a quick look at here was the uh, capability to do certain things that might be difficult to do in a um, in the default Android browser. For for instance, let's go ahead here and open up Google Docs, which is a pretty JavaScript heavy page. No, we're waiting for that to load. And it looks like we probably just ran out of memory here. And so that's actually the thing I was about to tell you is that uh, it's a huge memory hog. Uh, the, my Nexus One tends to have um, a lot of applications installed on it. Um, the the one that's really the heaviest in terms of resource usage, usage tends to be um, Adobe Flash, which takes up about 12 megabytes of disk storage. This takes about 43 um, megabytes. So if you have a newer phone that has a huge amount of storage, that might not necessarily be that big an issue, but if you have a phone that has a, a finite amount of storage, um, it can be kind of problematic. Uh, let's go ahead and open up a spreadsheet here. So I actually had to uninstall a couple of programs to even get this to run. Now hopefully this is something that they'll address before they finally release the uh, the application. Uh, this is still an alpha build, and uh, just the fact that it's running along so zippy, relatively speaking, is uh, is a huge improvement. As you can see, some pages I'm still trying to figure out the best way to deal with them. But again, the zooming is just so fast and smooth here. Okay, so we're looking at a spreadsheet. In terms of entering data into the spreadsheet, that's something that I haven't actually managed to do yet here using Google Docs. But for viewing spreadsheets, um, you get the full desktop view, which uh, works out pretty nicely. And it crashed again. So let's load it up one more time, and I'll just show you a couple of the other features. If you've seen earlier versions of Fennec, you'll probably have seen these already. But um, So we've got our tab window here, shows uh, tabs, we can create a new window, and so forth. We've got bookmarks and history. Um, desktop, if you're set up to synchronize your data with uh, Mozilla Weave, so that you can actually synchronize it across multiple browsers. Over here you've got favorites, forward and back, and settings. Uh, enable JavaScript or not, show images or not, allow cookies or not, and so forth. You can also install add-ons. Um, now it's not going to support all of the add-ons that are available for uh, Firefox on the desktop, but it will support some, and uh, this is where you would find them. Um, so you can search or look at the existing ones. Uh, let's say I want to look for bookmark add-ons. Here we go, so we've got Shareaholic, Avim, nine other results. Now we can open up the page here and take a closer look at them. Now because of my 
lack of memory resources here. It might crash before it loads or it might uh, not be able to install any of these add-ons. But just the fact that it's uh, capable of installing add-ons at all is something that uh, sets it apart from most other browsers. Uh, the Dolphin HD browser for uh, Google Android also supports add-ons, um, but it doesn't have as nearly as large a developer community as Firefox. So there you go, that's a uh, close look at the uh, uh, Fennec Alpha nightly build from uh, Friday, what is today, the 24th, I believe, of September, and this is Brad Linder with Mobiputing.